You've probably heard the headlines, AI is replacing data analysts. Everyone's running around like it's the end of the industry. But here's what no one is telling you. If you're still playing by the old rules, yes, you should be worried. But if you know how to move, this is actually the biggest opportunity shift we've seen in years in tech. Stick with me because most people are missing what's really going on. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what's happening to data careers in the age of AI. You'll learn exactly why the panic is overhyped and how you can pivot into the new wave of high paying roles without going back to school and wasting time on dead end paths. Now, whether you're just starting out or trying to stay ahead of the curve, this will show you how to thrive while everyone else is getting left behind. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha. I used to deliver pizzas and now I deliver insights as a self-taught data scientist and I've coached thousands of other career changers how to break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting the time and thousands of dollars on courses that just don't work. And if you ever want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to land your first data analyst role in the next six months, Click the link in the description so we can start working together. Now let's get into it. Truth number one, the only people that should be worried about AI are the ones who are refusing to adapt. You ever notice how people talk about AI like it's just some unstoppable monster that's about to wipe out every data analyst job on earth. They hear automation and automatically imagine a robot sitting at their desk typing SQL queries, building dashboards, and just sending reports to stakeholders all without them. But here's what they don't want to admit. If that's the picture in your head, you were never really doing the hard part of the job to begin with. Because the truth is, AI isn't replacing analysts, it's replacing inefficiency. Look, there's always been a gap between the people who do data and the people who own results. You know what I mean. Some folks just follow instructions, clean the data, build this chart, send it off, that's it. But then there are others, the ones who ask better questions, challenge assumptions, and automate the boring stuff and actually turn raw data into decisions. Those are the people who are using AI to 10x their workflow. They're not scared, they're leveraging it. ChatGPT and Claude Code is helping them generate code faster. They're building tools to automate repetitive tasks so they can focus on insights that actually move the needle in a business. I had someone come to me a few months ago stuck doing repetitive Excel reports every single week. Hours of copy and paste madness. They learned how to use Power Query and GPT to automate 80% of it. And do you know what they did in that free time? They started analyzing the trends no one else had time to look at. And guess who got tapped in for the promotion? This is what most people are missing. AI is not a replacement, it's a force multiplier. It's the difference between just drowning in dashboards and being the person who builds scalable systems that run on autopilot. So yeah, if you're just still clinging to outdated workflows, if you're still resisting new tools because you've only did it this way, then yes, you should be worried because AI is already passing you by. But if you're willing to adapt, you're willing to learn how to lead with tools instead of hiding behind them, then you're about to become way more valuable than you've ever been. Truth number two, AI is not as smart on its own as people think. Let's get the record straight. AI is not a genius. It's not your new boss, it's not a miracle worker, and it's definitely not a substitute for someone who actually knows what they're doing. But you wouldn't know that based on how some people are acting. You've got folks asking ChatGPT how to build dashboards, write code, and run analysis, and then they turn around and blindly trust the output, as if AI can't make mistakes. Let me be very clear. AI makes a lot of mistakes. It can hallucinate answers. It'll write SQL that doesn't even run. It'll confidently spit out information and code and explanations that are completely wrong, but it sounds so sure of itself that you won't even question it. If you don't know how to check it, how to guide it and fact check, then you're just following a faulty GPS straight into a brick wall. This is where things get dangerous because without foundational knowledge, using AI can become a blind leading the blind. I've seen people copy and paste code from AI, run it into production, and end up misreporting key metrics. Or even worse, making business decisions off of garbage data. And when leadership starts asking, why did we lose money this quarter? Guess who's on the hook? AI doesn't know your business. It doesn't understand context. It doesn't care if the results make sense. It's a powerful assistant, not the decision maker. And that's the trap. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you won't even realize that 
it doesn't know what it's doing either. So here's the hard truth. AI still needs you. It needs your judgment, it needs your strategy, it needs your business sense. It needs someone who knows how to guide it, challenge it, and clean up its mess when it screws up. If you want to be irreplaceable in this AI-driven world, then stop trying to be a robot and start being a leader of the robots. Because the people who stare AI, not just use it, those are the ones companies will fight to hire. Truth number three, AI is creating jobs that didn't exist five years ago. Here's what no one wants to tell you when they start fear-mongering about AI replacing analysts. AI isn't just taking jobs, it's creating an entirely new category of them, and not just a few. According to multiple industry forecasts, AI is expected to add far more than it takes away. More specifically, McKinsey projects anywhere between 20 to 50 million new jobs by 2030 alone. So let that sink in. This isn't a future trend. This revolution is already happening and the opportunity is massive for those who pay attention. We're seeing roles pop up like AI product manager, analytics automation consultant, and AI data strategist. High leverage, high paying roles that are focused not just on analyzing data, but engineering outcomes with smart systems and automations and products. These jobs didn't exist just five years ago. Now they're everywhere and companies are hiring them fast. But here's the kicker. Most people are still applying to the same old roles with the same outdated resumes, using the same tired strategies, completely unaware that the game has changed. Meanwhile, companies building the future, they're looking for the analysts who know how to integrate the AI tools, drive adoption, and think beyond just reporting. And no, you don't need a master's degree or a $20,000 bootcamp to get your foot in the door. You just need modern fluency. Can you connect business problems to automated solutions? Can you use AI tools to reduce time to insight? And can you build systems that adapt and scale? If so, you're exactly what they're looking for. This is the moment to position yourself because the roles that are opening up now, they're not just more advanced, they're more valuable. So while others are wondering if AI is just the end of the road, you'll already be sprinting down a much better one. Now, I'm not just saying all of this because I read a blog post or watched some random TED talk on AI. I've lived this. I've helped hundreds of people from complete beginners to seasoned professionals transition to modern data roles that are thriving because of AI and not in spite of it. We're talking real people, people who were doing admin work just six months ago, now delivering insights for major companies, folks who are scared of tech, but now leading AI integrated projects, career changers landing six figure offers, not because they knew everything, but because they learned the right things and positioned themselves for this next new wave. Now, this isn't theory. This isn't hype. This is exactly what's happening in the job market right now. And if you're willing to step into it instead of running from it, you can do the same. So here's the bottom line. AI isn't the enemy stagnation is. And the people who are adapting, they're winning. The ones who are panicking, they're watching opportunities slip through their fingers. If this helped you see the bigger picture, that's great. But don't stop understanding it act on it. Start learning the tools that scale your impact. Practice your strategy and storytelling, not just your syntax. And stop playing small in a field that's exploding with new potential. If you want to make the shift and see the exact steps my students use to land roles in high paying data analyst jobs without going back to school and wasting money on another bootcamp, click the link in the description. You will get instant access to my free training and details on how we can work together. I'll see you there.